travel together! Huh? It's snack time! <gasps> wow! <laughs> Thank you, Papa, Papa Goat. Goat! I want to eat a round pizza! I want a round one, too! Let's divide it like this! Momo, that's not fair! It should be divided equally! Uh, no? what, what do you mean? mean? Let me explain! <laughs> this is a round pizza! Split it down the middle like this, and it is divided into two parts! Are the two parts the same size? Let's compare them! One part covers the other perfectly! They are the same size! If we cut it into two parts of the same size, it is equally divided! If we split the square pizza in the middle like this, are the two parts the same size? Let's compare the two parts! Look! The two parts are the same size! What if a rectangular pizza is divided like this? Let's compare. One part cannot perfectly cover the other. This part isn't covered. They are not the same size, so it's not equally divided. If the parts are the same size, it is equally divided. Give it a try. Oh, if each part is the same size, it is equally divided. <laughs> Papa Goat has the best snacks. Thank, Thank you, Papa, Papa Goat. Um, you won't be able to have them for a while. Huh? Why? I'm going on a trip tomorrow. Snow Mountain, Desert, and many other places. I can't wait to see them. Papa, Papa Goat, we, we will see, see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. I've got some cloth. Let's make a pair of gloves for Papa yeah. Goat. <laughs> How can we do that? Let's divide this piece of cloth into two parts. Yeah, let's bisect it. Mm. Bisect? Yeah, bisect. Watch this. <sighs> if each part is the same size, it is equally divided. Divided this way, the rectangular cloth is now two equal parts. We bisected it. If we split it this way in the middle, it can also be bisected into two equal parts. When something is divided into two equal parts, it is bisected. Are there other ways to bisect the cloth? What about dividing it from corner to corner? Let's see, the two parts are the same size. So, it can also be bisected this way. What if we divide it like this? Look, the two parts are the same size. We can bisect it this way too. Can you think of other ways to bisect something? Give it a try. We bisect something by dividing it into two equal parts. Let's get started. <laughs> Add some cotton. Sew it. Stick a cute banana on it. <gasps> Finished. Papa Goat, we have a gift for you. Oh. <laughs> These are some cute gloves. I love them. It must be cold on the snow mountain. Remember to put them on. Okay. Oh, did you pack a sun hat? It's hot in the desert. What about an umbrella in case it rains? <laughs> Don't worry, kids. I've got them all. Oh. Snack time! time! We have four people, <laughs> so let's quadrisect this apple pie. Quadrisect? Bisect means to divide into two parts. Trisect means to divide into three parts. Ah, then quadrisect means to divide into four parts. Do you know how to quadrisect a square apple pie? We already learned how to bisect. Divide the apple pie in the middle like this, and it's bisected. Then how can we quadrisect it? Yeah, just bisect each part. Look, we have four parts of the same size. Are there any other ways? First, split it in the middle, and then split each part in the middle again. It can be quadrisected this way too. We can also split it like this, and then split the two parts again. We quadrisected it. If you want to quadrisect something, bisect it first, and then bisect each part. Can you think of other ways to quadrisect something? Give it a try. Bisect once, and then bisect each part. We quadrisected it. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Tap the link below to get 99 rupees math lesson.